Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple Titi with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in and take a look at Bitcoin's daily analysis, sorry this video is coming really late in the day. I've had a really busy day, and uh, it's almost midnight on uh, Monday, so it is a little bit late. But um, before we dig into take a look at Bitcoin's daily analysis, remember this is for edutainment only and not to be considered as financial advice. Uh, also, I would appreciate it if you could help smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, and share your thoughts in the uh, comment section. Um, this will not only show me that um, what you're thinking and what you're feeling, but also helps promote these easy to understand analysis to help others, especially beginners, so they don't FOMO and also make more informed decisions. So with that, let's dive into the news and then we'll look at the uh, analysis. Um, according to the Daily HODL, um, Bitcoin witnessed unprecedented spot buying despite sideways trading on chain analysis. Willy Woo. I read this tweet from Willy Woo, and um, <laughs> I think I have tremendous respect for Willy Woo and his um, analysis, especially for Bitcoin. Uh, at the same time, though, this title here is kind of conflicting. You, you see, it's unprecedented spot buying despite sideways trading. If you have unprecedented spot buying, the price would shoot up, but yet the price is trading sideways. I do agree with him, and you know, he, there's some charts that he showed here, and uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But basically, the story is this supply, quote unquote, supply is gonna. There's going to be a supply squeeze, meaning that eventually supply is going to dwindle and then price is going to shoot up. I just don't know about this unprecedented spot buying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think there's um, there's there's spot buying, there's spot selling. So that's why the price is moving sideways. It's just not only unprecedented spot buying, because if that was the case, then price would skyrocket. Anyways, give it a read if you want to. It's uh, uh, at the uh, Daily Huddle. According to CNBC, uh, Dorsey, Sailor, and Fidelity and others defend environmental impact of Bitcoin mining in a letter to the EPA. Uh, this story basically is about um, Bitcoin maxim maximalists and also supporters um, countering position, uh, countering the narrative from some Democrats called the House Democrats calling for the agency to investigate uh, environmental effect of uh, crypto mining. It's the same sad story that um, people don't people either assume or pretend not to know the Bitcoin's impact. They just hear these wild stories but don't look into it. Let me give you a summary. The banking industry alone, way surpass Bitcoin's mining use of, uh, of electricity. Additionally, the U.S. household always on devices. The total cost of just the U.S. household always on devices. Things like, you know, Google Home or like things that you plug in and they just sit there idling most of the time. You add all those, uh, the power they use, it far exceeds Bitcoin's mining. But you don't hear anything about it, do you? These people are either or choose to be uninformed or they just to choose to believe certain narratives. So good for them, good for Dorsey, Sailor, and Fidelity for uh, trying to write what people are either mistakenly or just choose not to uh, or choose to believe certain things. Super frustrating with those people. Um, here's the uh, current crypto market heat map. Bitcoin, it's mostly red. Uh, we got Bitcoin 38.5, uh, down 1.16. Dominance 42.15. Ethereum 2.8K, uh, down 0.66. Dominance 19.72. That's uh, an interesting dominance there. I, I, what I mean is that it's 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 high. Uh, Luna is back in the green. AVAX back in the green. Algo is back in the green. So, you know, it's uh, more reds than greens. Here's the uh, current crypto market cap down 1.03 at 
four trillion. Here's Bitcoin uh, market cap seven hundred and thirty two point six billion dollars. And notice the uh, twenty four, the seven, the thirty, and the ninety. Um, oh, sorry, sixty are all down. The only thing that's green is the the ninety day average, and that's barely uh, that's barely up. It's up point zero eight percent. Let's take a look at the uh, daily chart. Uh, those of you who missed my weekly chart, feel free to check out Sunday's um, analysis. That's the uh, weekly chart. Here we have Bit, uh, BTC has been ranging uh, roughly at around 38.5 with uh, two doji candles. Here you have a doji candle here and another one here. This one has been flashing red and white. So, and really thin body. If you look at this candle, it's, it's almost like they're undecided what to do. Like the bears and the bulls, they're like, yeah, I don't know. And the, uh, the feeling I get is that they're waiting for the FMOC meeting which starts tomorrow, um, which is Tuesday, U.S. Uh, time, to uh, Wednesday, the 4th. So th it looks like that's what's doing. Um, and um, so you can see that three, day, uh, three days ago, it dropped down to the 37.5K uh, level, this green level here, and also the descending channel support here. Previously, I, I labeled this one as the lower lows, um, but... I drew in this line, so I might as well label correctly. So th here's the descending channel. Here's the channel resistance. Here's the support, previously known as the LL or the lower lows. So basically, it's been chopping right here. It uh, Three days ago, it uh, w dropped all the way down to 35.5, roughly. It bounced back up, and it's been turning uh, where it left off, just right there. The current Bitcoin candle is in the middle um, of the basis the bollinger middle basis line here it's between that and the bollinger bottom uh, and the basis line is roughly around um 39.6 and the bottom is 37.5 right there notice the bottom of the bollinger band um, touches the uh, 37.5 k support and resistance green line here and also the uh, descending channel support is right in that area too, too. So that's a that's an area of confluence, and that's um, pretty strong support there. Now BTC has been below the Bollinger middle basis for 28 days, 12 and 12 and 38 days with the two recent periods where uh, Bit, uh, Bitcoin has been below the um, Bollinger basis middle line. So it's making its way to 38, 10 more days, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, notice this um, <laughs> this candle was just white and now it's red again. Um, the previously traded volume in this zone, you can see this red solid line across that's overlaid with the red dashed line. And you can tell over here with the graph or the histogram, histogram bars here, this is the highest traded volume level where this, um, this candle is currently wicking up toward the uh, daily volume of four of the f last five days we see that uh, bitcoin has been a uh, volume has been um, below the moving average only one day yesterday was it um, uh, just right at the moving average as far as the uh, kdj is concerned the white j line of the kdj crossed slightly above the red and the green lines uh, just slightly above and it's kind of rounding off and going sideways almost. And it's currently, currently registering at 32. I gave that a, a bowl with, with a crab. A bowl because it's trending slightly up. And crab is, is rounding off and going sideways. The MACD down here, the white MACD line, currently at negative 1,006. Continues to trend slightly below the red signal line. Um, but it's curving up towards the signal line again but not touching it yet uh, it's printing the 29th consecutive bearish shorter histogram bar and uh, i gave that a bear but if it continues this way it's bullish trending even though it's bearish printing here the uh, red rsi line and the blue cvd are trending sideways here's the blue line cumulative volume delta red rsi line down below they uh, both are trending sideways 
the red RSI line is at 42. I gave that a crab. Um, the blue CVD line is at 1,000. I'm uh, sorry, 1.8122 million, and I gave that a crab also. The white momentum indicator continues to, uh, to trend up, but it's rounding off and almost leveling off here. Uh, uh, registering at negative 920, I gave that a bull and a crab, meaning that it's rising, but it's trending towards sideways. So overall, uh, basically, what do uh, these indicators tell us? Well, I gave it a, the chart of radium uh, of a double uh, crab here, <laughs> meaning it's it's mostly going to crap sideways, which is it's been doing here. But there's bullish tendencies, a little bit of bullish tendencies, as uh, viewed by the um, KDJ here. But it's counter and offset by the MACD here. So, yeah, it's going to be crabbing sideways. Uh, summary, intraday, BTC is likely to chop around 38.5K uh, with a range of 37.5 to 39K. 37.5 would be this green support line down here. And 39K would be this red line up here. And here's the candle. So um, it really is based on um, the uh, macro environments. And currently, I'm waiting for the FO FOMC meeting. Uh, however, Friday could be another interesting day. Also, because that's when the job data gets released in the U.S. And that could influence the price here. So... Uh, let's see what else. That's about it for this chart. So let's go to the next one. Here's the uh, options max pain. Uh, again, uh, if you don't know what max pain is, check out the links in the uh, um, description. Uh, we basically are going to range. Uh, Mac max pain predicts that Bitcoin is going to range between 38k and 40k. So for the May the third, 38k. The fourth, 39k. The sixth, 40k. And um, the May 13th, 39K. Obviously, th these can change in the future. And um, as far as the, uh, the volume and the open interest, of volume, uh, there are contracts that have been filled already, and open interests are contracts that are still open and pending. As you can see here, for May the 3rd, we, there were more contracts that were filled uh, with calls so calls are the options to buy but not the obligation so more there were a lot more calls on for the third that contracts that have been closed already but if you look uh, forward like may the sixth and the uh, fourth here there are more um, volume for uh, puts puts are contracts that are um, that give them the option to sell but not the obligation to sell there are more puts there. If you can, if you want to, you can think of the green of the calls are like bullish, and uh, the red or the puts are like bearish, bears or uh, bears or bulls. Yeah, but if you look at the open interest, nah, very low uh, amount here in open interest. Maybe the six is slight higher, but really nothing to write home about. And so. Um, in my opinion, the max pain price is not going to matter that much. Um, still going to be a macro um, environment dictating what's going to happen with price. Here's the um, heat map for Bitcoin. We see that 50K sell wall is still there. And down below, we have uh, buy walls. 37, 36, 35, uh, 32, 30, 25, and 20. So, and uh, down below here, we have CVD showing uh, in the recent, uh, what is it, um, few hours here. Uh, it's been more aggressive market buys. Uh, not totally maxed out, but uh, about two-thirds of the way there uh, as far as the aggressiveness. Here's the liquidations level um, map showing cumulative liquidations level delta. The delta it means that it's the difference. So here we have red, uh, and it shows negative $1.83 billion. This means that um, there are, so this heat map here basically just shows the high leverage, 20x to 100x. We have short levels on top, 
we have long levels in the bottom. You take the money or the open interest in the short levels, you subtract from the uh, long levels, and you get the difference. And uh, it's showing a difference of $1.83 billion on Binance alone. Uh, so are more, there, are, there is more money in uh, high leverage posi uh, short positions than there are longs. That's all it means. And at this uh, amount here, it's not going to sway the, um, and the, um, it's not going to influence the spot market price to change that much. Um, in other situations, like kind of relatively normal situation, it might, but not here. Not, right now, it's all ma mostly macro, macro environments. And um, that's it. I think we're back to uh, the beginning here. So I appreciate your time and um, and joining me here today. And um, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, and share your thoughts in the comment section. And um, ah, I have one more to do, Maddox, but it's so late. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. If I don't do it, I'll do it tomorrow, and then um, I'll, I'll see you then. But if I do do it, uh, I'll see you in that video later then. All right, peace.